done and its operations over the next few weeks. Thank Minister you. Young. Thank you very much, Minister Cox, Minister Dial Singh, CMO, Dr. Parasaram. Trinidad and Tobago, today the message continues to be a simple but an essential one. And I'd like to pick up where Minister Dial Singh and the CMO are pleading with us to listen. Stay home, stay safe, stay alive. Those must become our mantras at this time. Unfortunately, it appears that people are still not changing their behavior and staying home. We're asking you to please stay at home unless it is absolutely necessary. Yesterday, as I was making my way to the east of Trinidad, I found it very disturbing to see some of the continued activity and behavior as though it is normal along the Brian Lara Promenade and some areas of Port of Spain, which I understand may still be going on in other areas around the country. The police 555 number, I get a report twice a day and we're still getting reports of persons gathering, some persons still going and trying to sneak in at bars and this type of thing. When the police have to enforce these initiatives, what it does is it draws on our resources. This really is, as we've been saying throughout, about personal responsibility and social responsibility. Please stay at home unless it is absolutely necessary. Yesterday, Minister Dial Singh published, with the approval of Cabinet, Regulation Number 7. And I'd like to just very briefly touch on Regulation 7 because it introduces a couple new concepts in our stay at home initiative and our stay at home drive but also the dating. You would recall chronologically, sometime towards the end of March, the last two weeks of March, the government came out and we took a decision to close bars, to close restaurants, in-house in dining, to close casinos and clubs, and also to close other um, categories. And that we told you, the population, that those would be closed until the 30th of April. Shortly thereafter, the government also took a decision to shut our borders, not only to non-nationals, but also to nationals entering, unless an exemption is granted by the Minister of National Security after consultation with the Minister of Health and his medical expert team. Again, the borders at that time were stated to be closed until the 30th of April. Yesterday's publication of regulation, what I call regulation number seven, drew in Regulation number three, which dealt with the bars, the casinos, the, the religious gatherings, as well as the closure of the borders into this. So when you see regulation seven, please don't get confused. We have two categories of dates. Those categories continue until the 30th of April. The next category of initiatives, when we started to deal with essential services and taxis, etc., at this stage continue until the 15th of April. We have also added, and I'd like to just briefly take you all to it, regulation number three in number seven regulations. We are saying that during the period specified, which is until the 15th of April, a person shall not without reasonable justification be at any workplace unless it is a, a workplace associated with essential services. And the presence of that person at the workplace is essential. This is a point I'd like to just emphasize. Even with essential businesses, we are asking you only to bring out your absolutely essential workers. This is not just because you're an essential service does not mean you should have 100% of your operational capacity going and your workers. You are putting your workers and the population at risk. Essential services really mean the bare essentials that you need to continue providing that service. And we are asking that the other workers continue to work from home. The second part of this sub-regulation deals with the gathering in public places. As you all know, we reduce the number of persons who can be gathered from 10 to 5 in public places. And as I said on the previous occasion, this does not mean a party of 5 and 6 feet away another party of 5. It means in any area outside of our essential services. So outside of the supermarkets, outside of the banks, outside of the pharmacies, outside of the groceries and these areas, gatherings of five are now prohibited. What is also important is we also took a, a decision and I asked Minister Dial Singh to be permitted to make this announcement today as we're going into a weekend. Please know that Minister Dial Singh, based on the 
medical expert advice after consultation with the Honorable Prime Minister and myself, we have taken a decision that we are no longer allowing persons at beaches, rivers, streams, or springs unless your presence there is for the carrying out of a service related to a beach, a river, a stream, or a spring. We saw last weekend persons still going to gather at certain rivers. This is now illegal, and if you're found there, you can be subjected to a fine of up to $50,000 and possible imprisonment. We continue to say that at the end of the day, we're hoping we don't have the TTPS, don't have to enforce these measures, but they will if they have to. People, it is not life as usual. I'd like to thank the banks. Two days ago when the Commissioner of Police reached out to me just before coming to this press conference to express concern about the gatherings outside of banks, I called all of the CEOs of the major banks and asked them to immediately implement outside of their remaining open branches markings, keeping the social distancing in place and every single one of them immediately agreed and they've implemented it. And we saw the results of that yesterday. Also, we're asking persons, unless it is absolutely necessary, please, there's no need for you to go and carry out normal business at any of these establishments, stay home. We are also asking groceries, supermarkets, pharmacies, and other essential stores to do the same and assist with the social distancing by marking outside of your stores and wire caching areas the, the social distancing policy of six feet and to listen to the advice of the CMO. Immigration. We have been looking at immigration for a while in upgrading our software and our hardware system to introduce facial recognition, to introduce biometrics, fingerprint ID, and a host of other potential sharing of information along international lines. Now is the perfect time for us to utilize the opportunity to implement these new software and this new hardware. So what I'm announcing today is until the end, for the whole of next week, the immigration division will be closed to the public for the renewal of passports and other of those types of services as we upgrade our systems. I'm also going to be asking immigration to prepare when they reopen a new system for passport renewals in an alphabetical order. So on specific days, persons with the surnames between certain letters will be used, will come in on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. There will still be some element of emergency passport renewals. But of course, this will be worked in. So I'm asking immigration as we use next week to close down, to up upgrade our software and our hardware, to prepare this system for implementation. Citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, I cannot overemphasize what my colleague, the Minister of Health, and the CMO are saying to us over and over and coming from as high as the Honorable Prime Minister as he addressed us earlier this week. When you look at what is going on around the world and you see how rapidly this colorless, odorless, unable to be detected virus spreads, the safest thing for us all to do is stay at home. So I really am joining that call and that cry. Stay home, stay safe, stay alive. Thank you very much, Minister Cox. Thank you very much. Members of the media, remember. <coughs>